Greetings and welcome to the discussion on building a web page. In this exercise, you will take the HTML code for an existing web page and modify it and customize it to make it your own. It is your task to download the HTML file that is used to display the sample web page. Modify it to create a web page customized by you. Before we get started on the actual project itself, I have a couple of suggestions. I highly recommend that you create a new folder for this class. You can use File Explorer on Microsoft Windows or Finder on Mac OS. I named my top level folder Intro to CIS. I also suggest that you make separate folders for each of your classes. If you organize your files into folders, it will make it easier to find things in the future. This would also be a great place to save a copy of the syllabus. You may need a copy of the syllabus in the future if you transfer to another college or university. I want to cover keyboard shortcuts, also known as hotkeys. When editing a document, you can either use the drop-down menu commands or the keyboard shortcuts. I find the keyboard shortcuts very handy and quick to use. If you plan on spending a lot of time on the computer, I recommend learning at least a few of them. I can see that undo command uses the Control Z shortcut on Microsoft Windows and the Command Z on Mac OS. Most of the keyboard shortcuts on Microsoft Windows system use a combination of the Control key and another key. Although the Mac also has a control key, most of the keyboard shortcuts use the command key. Select all is control A or command A. Copy to the clipboard is control C or command C. Paste from the clipboard is control V or command V. Save is control S or command S. Undo is control Z or command Z. Now, on to the actual web page project. Here is more detail for the steps. 1. Click the HTML code for the sample web page link on Canvas to display the sample code. 2. Select all of the code. 3. Copy into the clipboard. 4. Open a text editor, not a word processor. Use Notepad on a Windows PC or Text Edit on Mac OS. 5. Paste the code into the text editor. 6. Don't close the file yet, but save it to your disk with Control S on Windows or Command S on Mac OS. When saving the file with Notepad, be sure to select the Save As Type to All Files, open parentheses, start out star, close parentheses, or Notepad will append .txt to the end of the file name. Save the file with the name newwebpage.htm. To display a different title on the Window tab, change the text between the Title and Close Title tags. To change the first line on the web page, change the text directly after the open angle bracket font size equal quote plus two quote close angle bracket and the closing font tags. Put your name on the web page instead of mine. This is located between the open angle bracket font size equal quote plus one quote close angle bracket, and the closing font tags. I'll show you how to change the image picture to a new one in just a moment. Change the block of text that discusses why I am teaching the class to something new. The open angle bracket BR close angle bracket tags move the text down to the next line. If you don't use any of the BR tags, then the text will automatically move down to the next line when it reaches the right side of the browser's window. This is called word wrap. You can then see the word wrapping change if you change the size of the browser window. Change the link from a web page from San Jose City College to something else. I'm changing it to point to google.com. You need to change both the link address of http colon slash slash sjcc.edu and the text that will be displayed on the web page. Okay, let's look at how to change the image. If you look at the image tag in the HTML code, you will see that the image came from https colon slash slash 
images.pixels.com with a whole bunch of extra stuff after images.pixels.com. Although you can select an image from anywhere on the internet, I chose pixels.com because they have thousands of searchable free pictures that people have uploaded. When using Microsoft Windows, right-click the image and select Copy Image Link from the menu. Do not click the Copy Link menu selection. Make sure that it is Copy Image Link. On a Mac, right-click a mouse or two-finger click the touchpad and select Copy Image Address from the menu. Again, make sure that you don't select Copy Link. Paste that address into the HTML image tag starting after src equal quote and before the closing quote of the image address. The image tag also has attributes for width and height. You can either specify these values as the number of pixels or a percentage of the original photo. I selected a percentage value. Pixels are the super tiny dots of color that make up the display. The pixels.com website did a very clever spelling change of pixels with an I when they named their site. If you have your own pictures, it would need to be uploaded to a server somewhere on the internet, and then you would need to get the address of that picture. Save the web page again using Control S or Command S. Now, use File Explorer on Windows or Finder on Mac OS and double-click the HTML file you created to display your new web page. You will be displaying the web page from a file on your computer as opposed to displaying the web page from a server on the Internet. If this is something that you would like to share with your friends or family, I can put your web page on my server and provide you with the link to share. When you have completed the web page, get a screenshot of the page. Instructions for Windows and Mac OS are provided in the lab report. Paste the screenshot into the lab report and paste the actual HTML code into the lab report. Don't forget to complete the discussion section of the lab report before you upload it to Canvas. This is the end of the presentation on completing the web page lab project. Have fun! Bye for now!